Uh, have you, any of you ever wanted to uh, play a Dreamcast game that maybe isn't easy to get? Or you're just too cheap to actually buy it? Well, uh, you probably want to listen to this. It, it might help you a little bit. The things you'll need is, obviously, a working Dreamcast. A Dreamcast controller. A Windows laptop or computer with a working CD drive that can read and write. And some 700 megabyte blank CDRs. DVRs do not work and do not use rewritable CDs and only single use ones will work with the Dreamcast. First off, you're going to want to go to the first link, that's the 7-zip. This is just to help extract the files and you probably will want to download the uh, 64-bit version for Windows, but it just depends on your operating system, I guess. But I would recommend Windows. But you just want to download that and open it. It will probably look something like this when it first opens. Then you're going to want to go to the second link and hit download on this. And you're going to have to trust me it does work. But you might get some dumb pop-up ads. Let's see. Yeah. Don't don't ignore this. But it should open this, and you're gonna wait and just download this. I've already downloaded it, so yeah, it'll just be an image burn. That is what's actually gonna burn the game image onto your CD. Then you're gonna go to the website that actually has the um games and i'm using em emu paradise and you just go to the sega dreamcast or whatever console you know their page and you just look for the games to find one that you want uh i am going to download let's see let's look at marvel versus capcom Okay, so I'm going to use Marvel vs. Capcom 2 as an example. And you have to make sure that you get the, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it should say file type CDI. GDI is for uh, emulators, we're making an actual copy of the game. So you're going to click on the download link. And then click on the link again and you'll get a download hopefully once you're finished uh, extracting image the image burn file using 7-zipper and another extracting program uh, you'll have these two set up image burn and CDI files for image burn you're gonna want to do the setup first then when you're done with that uh, you're gonna wanna go to the little image burn tab and then open in file location and you'll see all of this right so now we're gonna wanna go back to the two files and go to CDI files and you're going to basically just copy and paste these three files into the image burn files. And that's basically what's going to allow it to read or output a signal to the Dreamcast. Or make it like formatted for Dreamcast. Okay, now you're going to, now that you're down, downloading whatever game you wanted for the Dreamcast, you're going to hit show in folder. And... You're gonna just drag it onto your desk desktop to make it easy, or for whatever reason. You're gonna right click, go to the 7-zip, and just hit extract here. And we'll extract the file for the game. You should put it on your desktop since you hit extract here. Let's see. It'll take a few seconds. 
and there's your game image. Now, you're going to want to grab a blank disk, and you're going to want to open image burner. And you're gonna make wanna make sure your uh file image has the little image burn symbol on it, so that means it'll actually work on image burner. So you're gonna grab yourself a disk. I don't have many left, so yeah. I only have a ten pack, so it didn't last long when you're making games and PSO patchers and whatnot, but you're gonna wanna hit right image to, wait, right image, file to disk, sorry, but you're gonna hit that, you're gonna stick your disk in the drive, just close it, then you're gonna go to please select file, get the little search thing, and it'll only show the compatible files, but your image should be here. So you're going to click on that. And when it's ready, you just hit this button right here. And one more important thing, make sure your write speed is set at 16 or below. Anything faster than this could be, might not work with the Dreamcast. So remember to set your speed to 16. So... When you start, it will buffer, and you'll hear your disk drive spin up. I don't know if you can hear it through the mic, but your buffer will start going down, and the device driver will go up. This may take a few minutes. It just depends on the size of the game. But I'll get back to you once it's closer to being complete. Okay, so when it initially completes, if you're on a laptop like me, it's gonna, here in a second, it's gonna pop open the drive, and then ask me to close it, hit OK, and then it'll basically do the same process again, but it'll be quicker. This took about six minutes, but see, uh, I want the drive popped open, I just gotta close it, I don't know why it does this, but, and hit OK. And once it verifies, it'll do a final write of it. And you'll get a little chime when it's done, but yeah. I'll uh, see you at the end of the process. And only the image buffer should show up this time.
Okay, so it's done, and it should say operation successfully complete. So now you just eject your disc, and it's ready to play, so we'll test it. And you might want to write the name of the game or whatever on it, but I'll do that later. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> if you follow all the steps right, you should be okay, but you just repeat this process with different games if you want a different game, but yeah, now we'll test it. Okay, we're going to put our game in. The game we just wrote should be Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I don't even remember. But we'll turn it on. We'll walk over here and oh, make sure it works. My system battery's dead, so gotta put in the date every time. I say time like that. But we're gonna hit play and it should restart. Just gonna skip through all this, but as you can see, the game works. So yeah, that is my tutorial, and just to put it out there, I do not condone piracy, but to be honest, the people who made these games haven't actually made money on it in like 12 years, so they probably don't care. But just you know don't take it too far and yeah that's basically it bye